Hey guys, welcome back to the Butterbean Shop. I am doing an unboxing video today. I have a lot of supplies that I have recently purchased and I figured I would do an unboxing because I always enjoy watching them. So I figured I would unbox the you all. Only, the only reason why she, how she started to do soap videos because the first thing, she first watched the very soap video, she thought it was so cool, she, she made her own video. So yes, cool. I did. I started, actually the very first soap video that I watched was Kenny from Royal Appleberry and Katie from Royalty Soaps. And I love both of them. I especially love my girl Kenny. I just absolutely adore love her. her. Yes, I do. I love me. Well, of course you love you. Okay, so this is from Be Scented, and I got a bunch of fragrance oils. So this one is um, Amazing Grace by Philosophy. I love this one. Um, I don't know. I don't really have any plans for it, but I wanted to buy it just to have it um, for Mother's Day. So I have to come up with a design for this one, but this one I really like. Um, I also have, let's see, Passion Fruit Nectarine. I think this is the one that was the um, six, this is $11 for 16 ounces. Ooh, it smells so good, you guys. Oh, and it's like my favorite, fruity. This is a great summer scent. Ooh, it smells good. It smells kind of like Snapple, um, I forgot, like strawberry, uh, strawberry, no, strawberry scent, not cinnamon. It's, it's a, a very fruity scent. It's very sweet. Can I, can I smell this these This one too? is Olive Branch by Lush. Can I smell these? Um, I haven't smelled this one, but I really wanted to. Ooh, this smells good. Mom, can I smell? Can I smell that? That smells good. Mmm. Ooh, this this. Smells good. I'm, I'm gonna have to use this one um, sooner rather than later. This, you guys, this is the bomb. Love Mom. it. I don't know how it performs, but we'll see together. Mommy, can I smell these two? Wait till I'm finished opening it and I'll, I'll do okay. it for you. This one is Pink mm -hmm. Chiffon by um, Bath and Body Works. It's a dupe. I love dupes, you guys. So, mm, this one smells good. Let me smell. Let me smell. It smells kind of perfumey a little bit, but it's sweet. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. It's very bit. good. It's a very feminine fragrance. Feminine. So that's that. So all the ones that I haven't smelled, I'm keeping them over with me. Okay. The and, ones we'll open it up. and all the ones that I have smelled, I put them over. Anyway. This is vanillary. So this one, just by the name, you know that there is vanilla. Vanilla ven in it. So it will discolor. And you see vanilla. how dark the fragrance oil is? It looks like a But orange. I love vanillary from... It, um, lush. It kind of smells like a honey vanilla type of fragrance. Yeah. It, it, it looks like an orange color. Yeah, it does. Ooh. So this will be good. Mm. Mommy, That's it's nice kind of cool, Mommy. Scent. This is Rainbow Sherbet. And um, Jolly I had some... Ooh, that smells good. I had some um, things in mind for this. A couple of bath bombs. And some, you like that, Zayla? Yeah. <laughs> a, a couple of bath bombs. Would you like a bath bomb with this? Yeah, but mommy. Bubble this, bars. Yeah, did you know these two things are green, but like this is like bright green. This mm -hmm. is a very lightest green. This is orange and this is a little yeah. bit blue color. Yeah. I also have honey. I washed the kids. Honey, I washed the kids. This is also a lush type dupe. Honey, I, I love this one. O M G. It smells so good. No. Huh? Sailor doesn't like it. I love this one. This girl, this smells good. Smell that again. Girl, please. You know that's good. <laughs> yes. She talking about no, it's not good. I know she she knows it's good. She's just trying to be ambivalent. Yeah. Okay. It is. And then I got some dead sea salt. These are my extras. I'm dead. Dead sea salt and some white kale and clay. So that is it for... Can I show them my um, putty? Not yet. That's it for... Um, Today. The scented. No. I also have some... I have to have an order of fragrance oils. I know all of the soapers out there are a little jealous right now. Sorry, ladies and men. Sorry, guys. I say that. But, you know, I had to restock on some fragrance oils. And try out some new ones. 
All right, so this is from Nature's Garden. Ooh, this had my whole address on there. I will, yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> All right, so address. I'll get that part out. But because this is a teacher address, they're gonna call you. Well, the like, agent can part. I, Dad, can I say, have some, what's some of your fra fragrance? Okay. Fragrance, whatever. So this is from Nature's Garden. We have cola. This was expensive for Nature's Garden. This particular fragrance oil was expensive. I have um, a couple of things in mind for some wax melts. I'm gonna do, ooh, kinda strong. Some drink inspired wax melts. But this is cola. And the good thing about cola is it can be a base for many different fragrances. Like Coca-Cola? Yep, like Coca-Cola. And then I also got Mom, can Clean I smell Breeze these? Type. This, this is, though. wait a minute. This clean is, Breeze Type. I smell something. Mom, and this, can I is, smell? this is really good for um, uh, like laundry. Like it smells like fresh laundry. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it smells really fresh. Like you just washed a whole bunch of clothes. And then this one is lavender apple. And we all know that I do not like lavender if you've watched any of my other videos. Yeah, you you don't. You really don't. This smells good. <laughs> it's a good <laughs> lavender blend. If you like lavender and apple, it's a good blend. So I will be making a soap with this. Can I guys tell you something that mommy does secretly? I also got blueberry. I have something in mind for this. This is going to be a wax, some wax melts I have in mind for this with, with a blend. I want to smell. Here, you can smell it. It smells like fruit punch. Does it? Should it doesn't smell like blueberries. Uh, well, it smells like fruit punch with the sugar. I also have raspberry lemonade. That's also another um drink inspired soap i have in the in mind shop mm, that smells so good here smell uh, it mm, that smells like flower pot i'm just kidding i'm just kidding it smells like raspberry lemonade yeah i know lemonade. i also have blue sugar type i love sugar i know you love sugar know. and you've had enough of it for the last the last you oh that smells good very like, sweet and sticky kind of Little masculine undertone. Yeah, it kind of smells like a little honey. It does smell a little honey-ish. Ish, give me okay. some honey. This one is blueberry cheesecake, and I have an idea in the works for this. I wanted to try the cheesecake kind of fragrance. Okay, so there's that one, and then I have blackberry jam. So, I love blackberries. So, mm, mm. <coughs> smells like blackberries. I never smelled blackberries before. That, that, but that smells very good. Okay, and then this one is cream soda. And again, oh, that smells really good. Smell that, Sayla. Mm, yeah. yeah, that smells it's just like cream soda. Sugar, it smells like sugar. Like sugar, okay. So that's all of my um, nature's garden. And I have a big one over here. Oh yeah, that's a little medium size. It's really like a medium this size. This is from Work <laughs> I did order something from Workout here at the booth I got the other day. This is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And it's nothing but pile of dirt. Sweet almond oil, which I I'll use a lot these. in my, in everything pretty much. And then I have, don't pop them right now because I'm making a video. Yeah. Okay, and then this one, I don't know why I got this, but this is white granulated sugar. Oh, I know why. Because I got it for my sugar scrub. And then, oh, here was another one too. White granulated sugar. Oh, look at all these These look so cool. And then I got some oil. Castor oil. 
Whoa, look at these big things. And then I got foaming bath whip. And I use that. I do a I use this as a base for my sugar scrubs and my whip soaps. But of course I add extra stuff to it. It's just because I don't feel like making my own. You do the and then I have I another one from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And this is just Oh, this is, I got some jojoba oil, and I usually get my jojoba oil from uh, 3K, 3K G, I think it's 3K G. Um, I usually get it from them, but since I was ordering already from, from Wholesale Supplies Plus, I figure I'd just get some jojoba oil, and I use that in my soaps. And I also use that in my lotions and body butters and my lip sugar scrub. Oh, and then I got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of uh, jars. And, oh my goodness! And tops for the for the jars. Here they go. Okay, and I think that's it for now. Yes, it is. Um, when I have some other stuff. I will bring you back. Thanks guys. Hey guys, Megan here to do another unboxing. And right now I am unboxing another Wholesale Supplies Plus order. And I must say, I am excited because I have a whole bunch of natural colorants. And um, yeah, excited. So I have in here, lemon peel granules um i'm going to be doing a soap with these i also have some matter root powder this is a natural colorant um and it's really really has good properties i have a natto seed powder and this is also a natural colorant and it gives the soap a really pretty orangey color um i have some beetroot powder and beetroot powder it's a really good purpley uh, I'd say pur purple uh, reddish color so like a burgundy color very nice and some black walnut powder um, this is also um, good for a natural colorant um, and I have some alfalfa powder as a natural color so I'm excited about that I also have some sea clay I needed some more I use it I do a face mask with this with activated charcoal so it's one of my best sellers so I had to get a real from that I got some orange powder which will also be used um, in uh, wholesale supplies Plus was having a sale on this so I grabbed some I'm going to be using that in my natural um, color soap. Okay, here goes my invoice. And I must say, um, Wholesale Supplies Plus has been shipping really fast lately, so thank you. Um, this is lemon powder, so I have orange and lemon powder, so I'll be using both of those in my upcoming soap. And then I have Oh, let me move this out the way. I have some um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I have some um, essential oils I got. So I have pink grapefruit essential oil. I have tea tree, which is I love tea tree essential oil. I have orange 15 times essential oil and it's clear. So we'll see how that works. A lot of times, like if you just use regular orange essential oil, it will not hold up in cold process soap. So I suggest if you have the regular orange essential oil without it being tenfold or 15 fold, 
if you do not have that, then um, do hot process because the color, the, the um, it will fade. I have a bergamot essential oil and I have a lemon essential oil. So that's it y'all um, for my wholesale supplies plus and I think that's it for all of my supplies this month. Um, this, okay, that's not the way. Um, this, 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 a whole bunch of natural colorants I'm going to be using. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that soap coming soon. Thanks, guys, and have a wonderful, beautiful day. Hey guys, welcome back to the Butterbean Shop. It's Megan here and I am doing another unboxing for you today. I got some stuff from Nurture Soap and I got some stuff from Brambleberry. So I will go ahead and open this up. You know, it's been like a little over a week so I kind of forgot what I got, but I got some colorants and I think I got a two pound mold in here. Um, I did get a two pound mold. Um, for smaller batches, I got a two pound mold and here is my, uh, here goes my two pound mold. I love this mold. I have one already, but I got another. And it's just a great mold. You get like 10 bars, but my bars are kind of thick, so I usually get eight bars in each one because I have in some in some samples because I, I I have thick. It's thick. Oh, and they put some greens in here. Yay! So here goes my two pound molds. Wonderful. Looks like I have some goodies in here. Oh, no, this is my really red mica uh, powder. Or is this a pigment? It's a pigment. So it's a really, really red um, pigment powder. And I just got a bag because I have a jar. And I'll put that in there. And I think these are extras. Yes, I got a puffer bottle, which is always good to have. And then, oh, cabaret. This is nice. I love getting mica samples. Cabaret, how pretty that is. Very pretty. So, there's that. And... Then I got a I got Summer Crush Mica. I have this already, but I wanted another one. And then, oh wow, is that an extra really red? I must have got an extra really red because here goes another really red. I must have got an extra one, or they sent they sent an extra one. Let me see. Let's see. Oh. I was an accident. I ordered two. I got one bag and I got one regular one. That was an accident on my part. Oh well. And then I got um, Yellow Lake. Um, what is this? What number is this? Well, it's orange lake powder. I'm not sure what, what number it is. Yellow six. And then I got um, Purple Vibrance. I needed to re-up on my Purple Vibrance. It's my favorite purple. And then I got um, Atomic Orange. This is a great orange, you guys. It It's really great. I like to mix it. When I really want a bright orange, I'll mix it with a neon orange. Um, this is Yellow Number 5 Lake. This is Neutral Gray. And then I got Rose Pink. And Maya Gold. And this is um, Blue Number One Lake. And I got 
um, red 27 lake. That's a hot pink. Okay, and so that is it for my nurture soap. I like their new labels. They got new labels, you guys, if you haven't noticed. They've been changing their labels up quite a bit lately. Okay, so I'll put all this stuff over to the side. And I love their little bags too. Um, the next one I got is from, everybody knows where this is from, Brambleberry. a plan to do some natural soaps. I think I ordered most of my natural um, things from um, Wholesale Supplies Plus. I think I might have a couple of things in here that I ordered, but I can't be too sure. So here goes the Botanical Garden Collection. I did get a couple of um, I did get a couple of orders, uh, things from them, from that collection in here. So here goes my employees. And I got a re-up on my rose quartz because I was getting low on that. I got blueberry jam. I haven't smelled this yet. This is blueberry jam. I haven't smelled, smelled this yet. So... Mmm, oh my gosh, that smells so good. Oh my goodness, that smells good. Mmm, so this does have mild acceleration and cold process soap, soap, but I, it says discolors to none in CP. So I'm um, assuming that that doesn't discolor, but it smells really good. I really got it for wax melts, but I will make a soap with that. This is the Emerald Agave fragrance oil. And this is from their new collection. Ooh, that smells good. Very fresh, but it's got a sweet fruity note to it. It's very fresh though. Oh, but it does smell like that's amazing. Ooh, you guys, I, I love this. It smells like a succulent with a nice sweet flower on top. It's amazing how they got that's That's beautiful fragrance. Emerald Agave, it's a beautiful fragrance. Ooh, now I gotta figure out what I wanna do with it. Ooh, that smells amazing. I got another cashmere because I was running low on that. And then I got a cactus flower. Um, let's see how this smells. A cactus flower. I like it. It's very, it's like a neutral. It's like a neutral. It's not offensive in, in any stretch of the imagination, but it's green. It's a little warm. Very neutral. It's a fresh fragrance. It's very fresh. But I'm in love with that Emerald Agave. That one smells amazing. Okay, and then I got cocoa butter cashmere just because I love cashmere and I love cocoa butter. So I wanted to see what this one was like. And this is not a new one. This has been there and I've kind of been eyeing it for a while and I decided to buy it. This is the cocoa butter cashmere. Mmm, you guys. Oh, yes. This smells amazing. I'm making a lotion with this. I love it. 
Okay, so this one behaves well in cold process soap. It discolors to a dark brown. So there is vanillin in it. So those are my fragrance oils. That's the fun stuff. The other stuff is just stuff I need to make my stuff. It's just, I think it's just, um, organic cocoa butter wafers. I like getting the cocoa butter wafers because it's easy to measure out. No cutting, no nothing. It's already done for you. I got some walnut shells and I have, I'm going to make a soap with the walnut shells in it as an exfoliant. So that's what I got. Um, and then I got some colloidal oatmeal. I put this in all of my soaps to give it an extra bit of um, Oh, did they not send me a oh yeah they don't do that anymore I forgot Brambleberry doesn't send um, um, extras <laughs> like they used to okay guys so that is it that's a wrap I got some really good stuff um, I think out of this haul my favorite of course I have my favorite fragrances that I use all the time but my favorite my favorite ones um, other than my other favorites are these. These are, these are great. These are here. Mm -hmm. Yep. These right here. Inspiring. Got to figure out what I want to do with them. And, um, this is also good too, but it's not, um, one of my favorites, but it's, it's, it's good too. So you guys, until next time, see you soon.